Welcome guys to CDDS Max news for the month of July. I hope that you are enjoying holidays or I don't know, maybe you are in the middle of holidays, maybe you will do holidays. Normally July, August are quiet month, but we had a lot of things. Let's start by Chaos Vantage 2 that was presented the last month, but I forget to include it on the past news. So here it is, Chaos presented Vantage 2. It's a real time render engine from Chaos. Now it comes with a scene stage that it allows you to assign different light setups, materials, objects, transformations, and post process to look different from each camera. Then there is as well a new scatter to populate your scenes with a simple solution. There's support for the forming meshes, and you can add render elements to your output for more control in post production. Um, much more things like support for multiple UV channels, support for mesh lights, orthographic cameras, improvements on the UI, and way more. As we said, Chaos Vantage also adds support to anima characters, and related to that, the other big news is that Chaos bought AXYZ company. AXYZ are the creators of anima and all these scans of people that was very, very popular in 3ds Max. It has a software to create crowds and yeah, all the library of characters in 3ds Max. Let's see the plans that they have Chaos now with this huge suite of animated characters. It can be interesting to see. And more news from Chaos, because they presented Phoenix 5.2. It's a popular fluid simulation tool for 3ds Max, now adding support for 3ds Max 2024. Not only that, it adds also some cool features, like a new floating panel, very similar to what we saw in FumeFX, Source Helpers, that has now the option to specify custom velocities, and it's around 20% faster in simulation times, and more improvements and bug fixes. On the simulation department, we had also updates from FumeFX, with FumeFX 6.04 and 6.05, with a new shape parameter node to allow to procedurally change any geometry, addition of voxels to spline for cool effects, a new spline generator node, and much more improvements and fixes. And even more simulation stuff. Think Kinetic released a new update for his extraction plugin for 3ds Max. Pull down it. This one is focused on performance, the shutter tool is now multi-threaded and up to 4 times faster than before, and the crack tool generation is up to 2 times faster, and also other improvements and more intuitive UI. Sivas Technologies presented Thinking Particle 7 Service Pack 3, where they keep improving the support to his new mail interface, where you can script whatever you want, it's artist-friendly and multi-threaded. Also, Sebas Technologies updated Final Fluid to Service Pack 2. It's his real-time fluid simulation that now supports the new 3ds Max volume display introduced after 3ds Max 2023 to visualize a smoke directly on viewport. On a very similar way, Tyson showcased on Typhlow Facebook group that he's working on giving support to display BDBs in Typhlow using the same 3ds Max volume API. This obviously will only be possible if you are using 3ds Max 2023 or newer. And talking about Typhlow, on my Patreon this month, I covered the request from some patrons about how to achieve a very cool organic decomposition posted by another artist that we will see later. And I go over the basics in how to approach a shot like this and how to create more or less this scene. Also, on my Patreon this month, exclusive for my Patreons, I showcase a very simple but very fast and effective way to rig the Ray tool to get even more control and... So yeah, a very simple way to create a rig for the Ray tool. And we have some free stuff. Alex Nguyen shared for free this script for easily uh, switch proxy modes in V-Ray, Corona and F-Storm. That can be quite useful when you are dealing with a lot of proxies in your scene. You switch from high res to box, uh, box mode or to point data, and yeah, one simple click. Then we have from 3D R&D that he shared as well another free script. It's not a script, it's an MCG tool that will create electrical power sockets. Uh, so you can choose from 28 different types of power sockets and switches, and you can align them together and stitch them together. Pretty useful. And Michael Shilidiaric is sharing for free how he created this cliff procedurally using Typhlow in Typhlow Facebook group. You have a description and you can download for free the scene. Pretty cool. And our favorite section, 3ds Max is only for Archbeath. And as I told you, we have from 
Shuba back this amazing animation that he did for a short movie. We can see how he's using 3D Max with Typhlo for this amazing and gore effect. And yeah, amazing, amazing final result. For the kind elements, Nayan Bodawala is also doing some research using Typhlow VDBs. And you can see on Typhlow Group where he used VDBs and rendering V-Ray 6 Beta for this very interesting result. And we featured this some time ago, it's the amazing opening scene from Lord of the Rings where J.J. Duran worked on and now we learn that he has been nominated to an Emmy for this shot, so congratulations Duran, a very well deserved nomination, it's a fantastic opening scene and a very good use of Typhlow and displaying the power of 3ds Max combined with Typhlow and other tools. And one more time, another amazing making of from Stefan Hampel. I think that Stefan has been on this show for quite some month. This time it's an environment with ruins done in 3ds Max and V-Ray. And you can see Forest Pack in action on Viewport. Um, as always, very, very cool stuff. And this one for me is what 3ds Max is all about, hacking. Pedro El Machado showcased on FStorm Render Facebook group this cool simulation done a year ago and it's done in 3ds Max 2016 and Particle Flow rendered in FStorm. And you will ask what's very cool about that, I mean, other than looks pretty amazing, and it's that it's done in Particle Flow. And it's not only that it's only done in Particle Flow, it's that there is no smoke simulation at all. And as he described in the comments, it's also the form of spheres animated using particle flow, adding a volumetric modifier in top and playing with the opacity, that's all. I found brilliant when instead of complicating your life, <coughs> Houdini, <coughs> uh, you can create very cool animations with simple tools. It's the artists that make it look great. So who will think that simply some spheres animated with particle flow, you will be able to create this amazing explosion. So super clever and it's what is 3ds Max about. Hacking, some simple tools, creating amazing results. So Pedro, amazing stuff. Jaime Diaz Alvarez showcased some time ago a procedural material combined with forest pack and now he keeps improving it. As you can see, now he adds forest, hills, water, and it's pretty amazing. It's amazing to see it, how extruding this simple plane you create this kind of amazing environment. Very cool stuff. And if you want to learn and to train more with 3ds Max and other tools this month, we are quite covered. We have Lance Culver is creating a series of tutorials for rigging cars in Typhlow. He has a YouTube channel. I put together everything car related on my page. You can see on the description, you have the links to all this stuff. And it's a really complete series with very professional results from creating the suspension in tie flow, how to steer the car following a spline and you can see how cool it is and super easy to set up uh, how the car can automatically avoid objects. Really clever use of tie flow. More advanced suspension rigs and wheel deformations. So if you need to do anything car related with this series of tutorials, you are all covered with really professional uh, explanations and the results are great and it's totally free. So Lens, thank you so much. Arman197 did a very cool simulation inspired in the movie Up from Pixar with some balloons pulling out a house. You can download the file on Typhlow for free and discover how he is doing it. Michael Shriliaric shared a tutorial in how to create a fungus grow inspired in the Last of Us video games 
also using Diveflow and the result is really, really great. And let's remember, in a week it's SIGGRAPH, SIGGRAPH 2023, time passed fast. Autodesk will present his vision series between August 8 and August 9, with some very cool talks from awesome studios. We have Weta FX, Untold Studios, Rising Sun Pictures, EVR Studios, Ignite Animation, Arturus, and Radical. Let me know if you will be able to go in at SIGGRAPH. I would love to go, but this year is not possible. Uh, it's always great to be around interesting people and these amazing talks. And that's all for this month, guys. I hope that you enjoy it. If you like it, remember, give it a like, share it with your friends, give a comment. I love comments. And as always, thanks a lot to all my Patreons that helped me a ton to keep doing these videos. Take some time. So thank you a lot, guys, and see you soon. Bye.